Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading. Our, well, it's for the uh, September 1st through the 10th, but we all know that timing is fluid, so we'll just see. This is intended to be a love reading, so we'll see whatever comes up. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get a couple of these. I was going to use a different deck, but I couldn't do it. I pulled out a couple other decks, and I couldn't do it. I really like this deck, so we're still using this one. Um, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Well, I don't know about that, but we'll see. Um, hmm, that's a toughie. <laughs> that is a toughie for Taurus. It is. That is a real toughie. Because we're so strong. Um, you know, you think about a bull. A bull is strength. I mean, come on now. Oh, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh. I'm going to get one more. September 1st through the 10th. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Notice the word recapture. I noticed it, so I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure. Maybe you have forgotten how to be playful. Oh, goodness. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. You already know who this person is. I don't know about that. Taurus. You know, it's funny. You know, I decided to move you guys right back to the top. Because, you know, it's really important to work on yourself. It's really important to put yourself first. Before anybody else can, you know, be a part of it, you have to love yourself first. Wonderful. Fantastic. A rude awakening, Taurus. A rude awakening. As if. As if. You need another one. Okay. So, yeah, there's going to be a rude awakening this week. There's going to be a fated event that changes your life. Wonderful. Ooh. This could be, it could cause you to really think about love, think about what you want, think about, oh God, some hurt, think about a foundation, think about, if you even want love, you know, if you want to let love in, if you want to accept an offer, if you want an offer, you know. Thinking about love is on the mind, but I, and I think that you're probably discontent at this time. You're discontent in the love arena. Maybe you're being, you're receiving an offer and you're like, shit. Um, yeah, somebody just wants to be happy, stepping outside of their ego. No longer needing to prove themselves. You know what? I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Now, you may be deciding that you don't even want love at this time. The Four of Cups can signify that. You know, I don't want this opportunity. Or I do can go both ways. You see, there's, an, there's, this, there's one cup. Here's one cup. Here's two cups. So, And then there's this could be three cups. I mean, it can go so many ways. There's an opportunity for love being presented to you. You may be afraid of a third party situation, but there is an opportunity and I think that you are looking at one, not realizing that there's another one could be. Maybe you have to make a choice between two options. 
you know, it feels like this is a time of, you know, you may just want to be independent. Maybe you're, you're, you're feeling, you know, powerful on your own. You know, maybe you just be, feel like, you know, I just want to be happy. I've been better off on my own. Oh, you don't want to be taken advantage of. You don't want to be taken advantage of. And it feels like there could have been some reckless behavior. There's also some fear. Okay. There is some fear here. Fear of getting in a two of cup situation. Because see, it got covered up. But now we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So what the hell. You have to make a decision. Do you want love or not? Do you want to be independent or do you want to be in a relationship? What's the, what is it going to be? There's an opportunity for something solid, something you have manifested. Now, this is a new security. It's being given to you from above. It's a new security. It's something that is stable, long-term, could be long-term. If you could see things from a new perspective, you know, and I feel like you do need to see things from a new perspective. Instead of uh, worrying about disaster, perhaps you need to be positive. So, yeah, somebody may want a relationship with you and you are considering, you're considering it. I feel like you've been getting prepared for this situation. Maybe now the time has come. All of this, whatever you've been waiting for, maybe, you know, at the dock, right in front of your eyes. But you may lack faith in it because maybe it ended in disaster in the past. Ooh. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but this is about being logical and making that decision. You are, and you are going to be making a decision. There's no doubt about it, about your happiness, about what's solid and what's not. So this is going to be a week of, you know, and there also is a soulmate connection here. When we have the king and queen of the same suit, especially there's a soulmate connection and it looks like it's it's a solid soulmate connection. I don't know where all them jets are coming from. Son of a gun. It's love. It's love. So perhaps you've been waiting for this to happen. You've been waiting for this offer of love. And now there's a true offer. <laughs> so there's a true offer of love. And you may be called to really look at this open-mindedly. Be optimistic about this, okay? Try to be optimistic because it looks like the, you know, these ones, there's something you manifested. It's it's love. It's solid. It's, it's a golden opportunity. And it's probably the answer to your prayers. So I don't know what the hell this is, but I'm, I'm really worried about it. So um, let me get this zoomed in. I feel as though you're afraid. You are afraid. You're, there's the fear right here. You're afraid to get on that ship. You're afraid to, uh, you know. Oh, goodness gracious. Give somebody another chance. There's an opportunity for a reconciliation here. There is a reconciliation with who? Somebody that you've been in a relationship with before? I don't know who this reading is for. It will not resonate for every single person. Okay. So there's an opportunity for happiness, for, you know, happily ever after, the Ten of Cups. It's like, this is a, an awakening, and she's pretty much awake, too. He is, too. So I think somebody is going through some sort of awakening, or they have, and now they may be telling you the truth, or the truth may be coming out. Yeah, it's the rude awakening. Yeah, it is a rude awakening, isn't it? I think that, you know, somebody is going to be forced to make a, forced to make a decision in regards to love. And happiness, okay? Somebody may want another chance with you with this judgment card. That is a reconciliation. Maybe forgiveness is needed. The judgment is a card of forgiveness. And maybe you've been waiting for this truth to be revealed. Because there's the 
waiting patiently. There's love here. There is love. Yeah, yeah, somebody's taking action. You're going to have to take action because somebody's heading in your direction, and they're heading in your direction pretty quickly. And, um, you know, you are probably unstable with it. You, you may even have some angry anger from the past, okay? So maybe this person has, has caused some uh, financial turmoil in your life or there was financial mess between the two of you in the past. I don't know what the hell this is, but this is chaos. So there could be some chaos on the horizon when this person comes in. You may feel a little unbalanced, like maybe you were de feel like, you know, you're just playing with me. You're playing with me. You know, you don't want to, it's like, you know, this guy, he usually comes and he goes. He doesn't stick around. So I'm wondering if you're dealing, or you think you're dealing with a player. Oh, so there's an opportunity for a rebirth, the birth of something new. Yes, there is. So it feels like there's there's something. Uh, being born, there's something is being born. Reborn. And you might feel a little uneasy with it. You may feel like you're a little uneasy with it because it's happening too fast. So, you know, there's an opportunity for growth, fertility, abundance, unconditional love. And I feel it's something that you've earned. This is a woman who knows her worth. She does. She doesn't chase people or opportunities. They chase her. It does. It is you. Okay. It is you in this reading. It's a man or a woman for if you're a man, this could be you. This is a person who is glowing. This person is a caregiver. This person is a nurturer and has a lot of self-respect. So there is some sort of rebirth here. There's a birth of something new or a renewal, a reconciliation of some sort, awakening. There is an awakening. Could be a rude one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, you know, maybe it's, it's time to allow this peace and harmony back into your life. Maybe it's time to get to the other side, finally. Somebody is taking action in your direction and offering love. This could be a reconciliation or it could be new love. It could go this it could go either way. Okay. That's the overall outcome of this reading. The very last card that was pulled in the first spread is the overall outcome is love. So love is headed in your direction. There's an opportunity for happily ever after. Something is going to be revealed. Somebody's going to tell you how they feel. And you're going to think about it. You are going to think about it. You're going to be like, oh, no. You know, do I want this or not? Do I want to be bitter or do I want my independence? Or do I want to look at this through a new perspective as a renewal, as a rebirth? You know, that somebody has grown, somebody has changed. Oh, you could be dealing with a... Air sign or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or uh, even a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but, so all the signs are here, um, this is about opening your heart, somebody's offering you love, somebody is offering you their cup of love, whether you accept it or not is going to be your decision going to be your call your call with the judgment that's a call it's something you've been waiting for it is i know that it is something you've been waiting for you've been waiting for this soulmate connection 
and the soulmate connection is now here and it is a rude awakening because now it's looking at you in the face so I fear I fear I fear you're right I do fear there's no doubt about that one um, son of a bitch I'm sorry I anyway um, there's an opportunity for happiness there's an opportunity for some sort of unfairness to be to come out okay the truth to be revealed these are both cards of karma so karma has definitely played a part here perhaps there's been an unfair situation that has caused a lot of imbalance in somebody's life. I mean, there's, these are both imbalance. It has. It's caused a lot of disharmony. It's caused a lot of, of turmoil. Somebody didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Tried to escape. Okay. Tried to escape, you know, but they couldn't. They couldn't escape it. They can't. You can't escape love. If it's love, it's love. You can't escape true love. You cannot Somebody is no longer wanting to prove themselves. I just want to be happy. And they're going to fight for what they want. So I feel like somebody may decide to fight for you. And I don't know who this is. Um, I really don't. But we're going to clarify these cards. So let me just make sure this is zoomed in. So Taurus, let your friends help you. There's going to be a faded event, something that may feel like it is, oh, hurtful, okay? Something is going to happen that feel makes you a little shook up. Something's going to shake you up, okay? Maybe you need to contact your friends if you have any, or if you trust any of them, whatever. Maybe you need to let your friends help you, but you know, I have to tell you, don't let your friends make this decision for you. That has been a big mistake in my past, and I will never do it again. You make your own decisions. Do not let your friends make any decisions for you. They don't live your life. They don't know you how you feel. They may tell you they know how, they, how you feel, but they don't live inside of you. It's okay to ask for their opinion. It's okay to let them help you. But make the decisions that you need to make from your heart. Especially if it involves a relationship. You could, you know, maybe you have a friend. I'm just looking at this card that is dishonest. Maybe that friend doesn't want you to be happy. I mean, just be careful. I don't know where this message is coming from, but yeah, it's funny that I said maybe you have a friend that doesn't want you to be happy. I don't know, but this is a this is this is a partnership and it is underneath friends. So be careful. Be careful with your friends. Be careful with what they're telling you. You know, maybe they're not really your friend. I don't know where that's coming from, but it is for somebody. This is, you know, somebody, you know, misery loves company. And I know one of my exes told me that one time and I didn't listen. And I wish that I would have. So just, just keep that in mind that, you know, there's, there's a partnership here that is not compatible. doesn't have your best interest at heart. And it, and it could be with a friend because I was clarifying this card. Let your friends help you. We're going to get one more to clarify that one. Listen to your inner guide. The answers are within you. I told you that. That's it. It's just clarified. Thank you very much. God, angels, spirits, and universe. Your inner guide has the answers to what you want and need in your life. Okay? Listen to yourself. And that's a problem. I mean, and this is where we're going with this. People get their friends involved and that's their friends don't always have their best interest at heart. So beware. 
let's clarify. There's an opportunity for commitment here, I think, with somebody new or, or somebody from your past because there's a reconciliation. But you need to believe in yourself. Follow your inner guide above all. Okay? Somebody from your past is your soulmate. Oh, jeez. Now, but there's been no communication with this person from your past. There's been no momentum, no forward movement. And it's like things have been completely stalled. Ugh. This person may be opening their heart. Now, this could be somebody new that you met in a past life. I don't know. But we have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's been no communication. There's been no forward movement. But this person is your soulmate. And this person, they know it. They do. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if this is... I mean, it does say somebody from your past. Now, somebody from your past could be somebody from a past life. Somebody hasn't been appreciated. Somebody doesn't feel appreciated. Somebody didn't... With, we're clarifying this playfulness. Somebody didn't feel appreciated. Somebody didn't put in effort. Somebody wasn't playful enough. And perhaps they freed themselves from a situation. And now they're, they're stepping out of their, their thoughts, okay? They're letting go of the negative thoughts. You have to be playful. You have to stop living in mental turmoil. It's removing those obstacles of fear and anger and hate and depression. It's removing those appreciating but there's lack of hope lack of inspiration people get discouraged when there's no playfulness playfulness is needed to keep a relationship alive so this is advice it is to recapture romance romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine you know, I don't know if this is a new love or this is a past love, because this could be either. But there is love here with a soulmate, and this person could be, you know, wanting a reconciliation. There could be some sort of, of, of event that, that changes the course for the better. Um, whether this is, maybe you get caught in love with somebody and you can't break away. I don't know what this is. Be wary of your friends. They may not be your friends. You know, they may not be your true friends. Be wary of that. That message came out for a reading. A reading. Reason. A reason. Now we're going to get one of these. You need to be open to the possibilities. You're going to have to make a decision. Do you want to give this another chance or not? Um, it's definitely a soulmate connection, um, you know, and maybe, and this, this could be somebody new, I don't know, I don't know, it could be somebody new, but you do have the six of cups connected to this, so that's kind of, uh, mm. Traveling lightly. Simplify your life. Release what doesn't support you. A busy life in the accumulation of more than you need creates static. Clear internal and external clutter. Do what matters. And release the rest to find peace. Grace and stillness release the rest release all that doesn't serve you basically to find peace grace and stillness simplify your life otherwise it's difficult to hear the voice 
of their creator. Create time to rest and rejuvenate. And that's what I'm doing. I don't know about you guys, but I've shot everybody down. Everybody. There ain't nobody getting in here. And there hasn't been. On the journey, we often gather things that don't support us. It's time to say goodbye to fellow travelers, situations, and objects that don't bring out the best in you. Maybe you're letting go of this person, this soulmate that you've been clinging to. Maybe you're letting it go. That, that could be this event. Just saying. Keep what works and let go of the rest. Don't bring out, let go of the, hold on, I missed that one. It's time to say goodbye to fellow travelers, situations, and objects that don't bring out the best in you. Keep what works and let go of the rest. And maybe it's friends and this person. It could be either. I don't know. I can't say because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Doing what is essential and releasing everything else is one of the fastest ways to align. It's funny I said listen to your inner guide. Fastest ways to, to align with your tranquil vibration of the spiritual realm. Clear things from your schedule that do not advance your life forward. Even a small amount of this cleansing can make an immense difference. Clear away what no longer serves you. And listen to your inner guide. Only take what benefits you. Not your friends, not your family. What your heart wants. So I do believe there, there you could um, have an offer of love. I mean, it's, it's pretty clear. Um, you could have an offer of love that could lead to happiness and commitment. With a soulmate. With a soulmate. We have the king and queen of swords and that soulmate card and the six of cups. And there's a soulmate connection here. And perhaps there's been a, a break in that soulmate connection for some stupid reason. Maybe, maybe it was because of friends. Maybe friends got in the way. Maybe it was your friends and his friends. I don't know. This time, listen to your inner guide. Talk to you later.